Facts First presents A husband holds his wife's hand while he takes his final breath, and their daughter sees something that makes her gasp. When couples get married, they say vows. In most wedding vows, the couple promises to be together in sickness and health till death do they part. There are many couples who say these vows but don't really mean them. That's why many marriages end in divorce. There are some couples, though, who are the exception to the rule. These are the people who stand up in front of their friends and family, say their vows to each other, and actually mean them. These are the couples whose marriages stand the test of time. A Floyd and Violet Hartwig, they are one of these couples. The couple was together to the very end. When she holds her husband's hand as he takes his final breath, their daughter sees something that makes her gasp. Before we get into the video, you can make us gasp in excitement by clicking that like button. And also, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Floyd and Violet met when they were very young. They were just grammar school students when they first met, in fact. Back then, they were classmates and friends, and they remained friends up until Floyd enlisted in the Navy. When he left home, the two lost touch. When Floyd returned home on leave, he and Violet reconnected. This time, they fell in love. When he went back to the Navy, the two wrote letters back and forth until Floyd finally came home. Violet was excited when the love of her life finally came home and the couple decided to get married as quickly as possible. On August 16, 1947, they said their wedding vows. These were vows that they both meant wholeheartedly. After they got married, they bought a ranch in Easton, California. It was the perfect life for the couple because it gave them a chance to spend all of their time together, which was exactly what they wanted. Over the years, they worked side by side, and they raised three amazing children together. This couple's life was what many people dreamed to have one day. Their children said they were great role models. Each day, their three children watched them work hard. According to their daughter, Donna Sharton, they were the most hardworking couple she'd ever known. Donna says that they worked together chopping cotton, feeding turkeys, and supporting each other while they both supported their children, and Donna says her parents always had an amazing connection, and it only got stronger during the last months of their lives. As the couple got older, their health began to decline. Violet was suffering from dementia. She struggled each day to remember who her family members were. Over time, her health was getting worse and worse. Floyd had health problems of his own, but he was more worried about his wife. According to Donna, Floyd became so weak he would run out of breath after walking just a few feet. While he could barely get around, he cared more about his wife's comfort and her health. When Donna would take them to see the doctor, he would tell the doctor that he was fine. All he wanted was for his wife to be fixed. As Violet became sicker and sicker, her children and her husband started talking about putting her in hospice care. They thought that it would be the best way to be sure that she was happy and comfortable. The idea, though, of Violet going away broke Floyd's heart, but he knew that it would be for the best. Well, just as the family was planning to move Violet to hospice, they got a call from Floyd's doctor. The doctor told the family that Floyd was in kidney failure and he only had about two weeks left to live. The doctor also told the family that Floyd would need to go to the hospital. Well, rather than putting Violet in hospice, they sent her to the hospital with Floyd. As their time was coming to an end, they were surrounded by their three children, their four grandchildren, and their ten great-grandchildren. When the two were in the hospital, their children pushed their beds together so that they could hold hands. Floyd was in a great deal of pain, and they knew that he didn't have much longer. According to Donna, her father fought hard to live because he didn't want to leave his bride. Sadly, his body gave out and he passed away at the age of 90. Just five hours after Floyd passed, Violet followed him. She died at the age of 89. Donna says that the family was heartbroken after losing their parents just five hours apart, but they had some comfort knowing that they went together. They felt blessed that their parents shared 67 years of marriage, and they had the ending that they always hoped to have. They'd been together constantly since the day they were married by both working together and living together. Donna says that she doesn't know how her mother would have gotten by without her father if he went first, and also vice versa. If she went before him, she wasn't sure how he would handle it. The fact that two people spent almost their entire lives together and then died together, it's more beautiful than it is sad. Donna was so impressed with her parents' story, 
she created a video about the couple's life. Not long after it was posted, it went viral. People all over the world were touched by this amazing couple's love story. We can only hope to be so lucky one day, find a relationship that'll last the test of time the way Floyd and Violets did. Just remember, those vows you take are supposed to be for the rest of your lives. Subscribe for more.